Right, it's quarter to eight at night. I'm at Outer Water Common. I've had my tea. There's nought on the telly. And I'm pretty much skint, so I can't even go for a pint. So there's only one thing to do. And that's go for a walk. Nothing too demanding, really. Just a short walk. Enjoy the evening air. Get a few views. The thing is, I've been in an office all day. And a nice walk out on an evening like this, it's as good as going to any gym. Dusk won't be setting in for another two and a half hours. There's plenty of time to enjoy the peace and quiet. Give the old heart and lungs a bit of a workout. Just to give you an idea where we're headed, got two crags there. That's hunting style crag. And that one's Dow Bank. And that's where we're heading, Dow Bank. It's about three quarters of a mile. It's quite steep up, there's a nice little craggy um, climb up there that you should enjoy. And then we're just going to walk across the ridge up to Dow Bank. I'll show you the views you get from there, they are superb. Okay, hands up all of those who have never ever heard of Dow Bank. Well, if you like views, you've got a bit of a treat in store. A short break will ensue. It's quite a stiff pull up there, actually. One of the things about this path runs, it's called Hunting Style Crag, uh, Gap. And it, that's Hunting Style Crag just over there. And if you carry on this path, you go to a past a property called Hunting Style and down Red Bank towards Grasmere. And 200 years ago, this was a corpse road. In other words, if you lived in Elter Water or Chapel Style or somewhere like that, and you died, you didn't get buried here. What happened was that your mourners had to carry your coffin over the fell to the parish church at Grasmere. So if we think it's bad nowadays, just imagine Having to go over there, maybe it's in the rain, carrying a coffin, old Jack, 24 stone, died of, of heart failure, bless him, after his 16th pint. And you've got to carry him over here and stop every so often for prayers. In fact, the stone I'm sitting on may have been one of the coffin rests, but that's not known. It might just be a stone that sits there. But there were coffin rests on the way, on the, on the journey, so that they could sit down, rest the coffin, and, and kneel and pray by the coffin and uh, basically that was how they did it. Gosh, Tawny Owl, don't normally get those until after dark. Right, turn left here. It's a nice craggy section but it's not very high. At the top, a little unnamed town. And there's where we're heading. Down there, and then up there. The thing about Dow Bank is that it's just 270 metres above sea level. So it's not on any of the mountain lists. It's not a Wainwright Fell, or a Burkitt, or a Marilyn. Which means that because a lot of fell walkers concentrate on summits that are on those lists, they tend to ignore the lesser heights, such as Dow Bank. Now that's perfectly understandable, I suppose, but the fact is that despite its limited height, there's an awful lot to see and enjoy on the short walk up here. Just to add a bit of interest, it's got a short but steep scramble up to the top. It really is quite steep up here. And when you get there, your reward is a 360 degree panorama across the Lake District. A 
allow me to demonstrate. I don't normally do that, so we take each bit at a time. That's Grasmere. There's Rider Water. That's Lothrig with Rydal to the left and Windermere to its right. There's Windermere in the distance, Lothrig Tarn there nestling between the trees. That's where we've walked from, Sail to Water. Weatherlam hiding behind Lingmore. Got Lingmore again with Crinkle Crags, Bowfell and Pike of Blisco behind it. My old bodies, the Langdale Pikes. I think they deserve a close up actually. Now all those shots were taken from one point. I didn't walk across the top of the fell or, or anything. I just stood on one point and turned 360 degrees. Which isn't bad for a 270 meter high summit that most people have never heard of.